Hi, I'm opening a box of the 2024-25 Tim Hortons cards. I got a full box of 100, so I'm going to open the whole thing here. I'm hoping I get uh, an insert card winner redemption or one of the franchise trios would be nice. <clears throat> I've had pretty good luck over the past couple of years. I got a autographed uh, Timbits card last year. They only made a hundred of them. One of the redemption cards. That was an eight hundred dollar card. I've seen them go for up to a thousand on eBay. And the first year I got a redemption card, a Sidney Crosby jersey card, which I cannot find online. It's super rare. I looked everywhere for this card. Anyways. I'm going to open this box of cards. So here it is. So I just have to position my phone here. So this works. This is my binder I made. I didn't make the binder, but the one I got. The card sleeves are already prepared cheaper just to buy this at the dollar store than it is to pay 25 bucks or whatever it is for the Tim Hortons binder and I don't know if it comes with sleeves but the Dollarama store binders are like a dollar 25 and the sleeves are a dollar 25 so that's the cheapest place to go anyway let me set this up you won't be able to see my face the whole time so here we go. It's gonna be a while, obviously. I have to lay all the cards out on the floor, so that's not gonna be fun. So. I'll have to organize them after this. It's going to be too difficult to organize them right now by number. There's a guy online that actually you can buy cards off of if you're ever short. Some cards. So usually I'm short a few every year. <sighs> Wish me luck that I get a franchise trio. Oh, this is going to take quite a while, that's for sure. Box of 100 into $230. I get a box every year. Another In Motion Phenoms. Oh. I probably won't organize them till tomorrow because it takes a long time. And I got my cat in here on the floor. True North Future. I wonder if those are worth anything. Ugh. I'm going to turn the light on on my phone here just to make it a little easier to see. Sorry if you can't see me that well. So the special card is a Frozen Hot Shots, Leon Dreisaitl. I tried convincing my neighbor to get a box so we can trade together. So I'm hoping he'll buy a box. He said he got one of those Timbits cards. I don't know what one though. I told him if it's the Crosby, that's the most expensive one. Okay, come on, franchise trio. Okay, so I got an above the ice. I'll have to look up the prices on some of these inserts. I don't know what ones are the expensive ones. 
I know the Timbits and the franchise trio is on there. Also, if there's anyone on here that wants to trade, you know, I always end up with extra cards. I have extra cards from several of the years if you need them for past years also. So, if you're short any cards, let me know. We can trade or whatever. Uh, pure gold is the insert on this one. Thing is, I have to put them back in the box when I'm done, so I don't want them getting damaged. Like I said, I'm going to start them tomorrow. It's a lot of work. Brent Burns, True North, The Future. Usually you get the whole set, but last year I was short like seven cards. I think three or four of the bonus and three of the regular set. I try to collect the bonus sets too. Not the really expensive ones because that's too much, but the lower end ones. Another Frozen Hot Shots. Those franchise trios are one in 200, apparently. So, basically, odds of getting one are 50% chance with a box. So, you buy two boxes, you'll probably get one for sure. Like I said, I've had luck over the years, so hopefully I get it. Nikita Kucherov. Ah, uh, shit. Ugh. Frozen Hot Shots. These are probably low-end bonus sets. So again, if you want to trade, just leave something in the comments. So I can mail them to you or whatever. Oh, that's cool. Sidney Crosby. Retrospective. That one's probably worth something. I'll have to look that up. I bet that one's worth something decent. It looks like an expensive card. Sidney Crosby. He's always the most expensive card in the Tim Horton set. Always. So this is called, again, Sidney Crosby Retrospective. I'm going to look the price up of that after I'm done here. I bet that's worth at least 50 bucks. Maybe more. Could be a really good one. I really want a franchise trio. This one, I got Adam Fantilli, Alex Ovechkin, and the Mark Stone True North. Uh, this is my pile so far. Uh, really want one of those franchise trios. Shane Wright, Pure Gold. Oh, come on, Franchise Trio. I want the Toronto one. Also, leave in the comments what your favorite team is. I got an Austin Matthews above the ice. That one's probably a decent one. It looks pretty nice. I think those hologram ones are usually one of the higher end bonus sets. So that's not too bad. But I'm excited about that Crosby one's probably the most expensive one so far. I'll have to check that in Austin Matthews when I'm done. Another Frozen Hot Shots, Kyle Connor, John Tavares. He's still got the Captain logo on. And this card, Austin Matthews is now the captain of the lease. 
which is well deserving because I think Tavares sucks. I think they should trade him and get uh, Stamkos as a free agent. It's too late now, but they could have tried that. Stamkos would be better than him. Mark Andre Fleury, True North. Yeah, I'm basically I'm not gonna read all the cards. I'm just gonna show them to you, but I will tell you the the bonus ones are the ones to look out for. It's nice to have the set, but getting the bonus good bonus cards is where it's at. Okay, what's this one? In motion phenoms. Yeah. In Motion Phenoms. That's uh, also like a holographic one. Still got quite a bit to go here. I've probably opened maybe close to 15 packs. Another Frozen Hot Shots, Quinn Hughes. Also, let me know in the comments if you guys buy a box or do you just go on a website and a lot of people will just sell the set already pre-done for you. It's cheaper to do it that way, but that's without any good. That's without a chance of getting the inserts. Oh, awesome. Look at that. I got a card. A redemption card. Awesome. Except the player sucks. Dylan Larkin. NHL Jersey Relics card. Awesome. Every year I've been get. I got... This is the second year in a row I got a redemption card. Awesome. Dylan Larkin. NHL Jersey Relics card. Too bad it wasn't like Crosby or McDavid or something like that, but it's better than nothing. I'm going to look up how much that card's worth. Also, there's a few I want to look up. If I can just get a franchise trio, I will be happy. Nathan McKinnon, True North. I think I already got that one earlier, if I recall correctly. I'm just going to put the empty packs here in the garbage because it's getting to be cluttered. I'll be right back. Oh. Oh. That's hard on the legs, that's for sure. <clears throat> It's hard to do this video, though, and open the packs and try to get it on camera and have the camera somewhere I can do it. I really want a franchise trio card. If I get that, I will be super happy. The Toronto one or Edmonton. One of those would be awesome. Uh, Ryan O'Reilly, pure gold. Pretty cool I got that insert. Like I said, last year I got one too. Another one of those above the ice. Thatcher Demko. Goalie for the Canucks. Those are probably one of the higher end sets. I really like that hologram. It's really cool looking. That's probably the nicest hologram ones Tim Hortons has ever came out with. Austin Matthews, Frozen Hot Shots. Yes, 
pile over here is starting to get pretty big. I'm going to have to make a new pile soon. Oh, I really want that princess trio. Another true north. I think the true north ones are probably one of the crappy bonus ones. I'd say those hologram ones are the best if I looked up the price. That's probably what it would be. Another frozen hot shots. I'm waiting to open one and get that franchise trio. If I get the Toronto one, it's worth 175 bucks according to Beckett. Another True North. Come on with the damn True North. Those ones are definitely the lower end. They're like chromey, but they're not holograms. Ugh. Still got a lot left, so we'll see. In Motion Phenoms. I, these ones are also uh, pretty good. Good. I, they're not that great. Maybe like five or ten bucks. Some of them. Mid-level bonus set. Really curious about the holograms, though. How much those are worth? Another above the ice. So stuff like this, like the medium bonus sets, you know, that are worth, you know, 10 or 20 bucks. If I'm short a few of those, I'll finish that set. But, for example, like the franchise trio, those are $150, $175 cards and stuff. I'm not going to do that. I try to get as many bonus sets as I can. Another Marty Benny's Frozen Hot Shots. I already got that one, so that's an extra one. Oh, that's the thing when you open these cards. I end up having so many extras that I don't need. It's almost enough for an extra set. Actually, one year, I actually got two sets. Jordan Cairo, True North. <sighs> Pure Gold, Pavel, Zaka. There's so many players I haven't really heard of. I wonder if there's any of the Utah in here or if they still have the Coyotes. Probably they don't have... No, they wouldn't have the Utah because they would have to take pictures of the players. Oh, my God. Another Sidney Crosby. Perspective. Retrospective. And this is like a hall... One of those... You know the ones that have... They kind of have like a... Like a... The deep... The... What do you call it? Like the feeling of the card. It's little tiny lines through it. I don't know what it's called, but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. So that's another one of those Crosby perspective cards. Uh, again, I will have to get the prices on some of these when I'm done. I'm really curious. You're seeing all the cards, so like, if there's any you want or need, just let me know. If I have extras and they're only 50 cents a card, I'll just send it to you for free unless I need. Unless I need a card we can trade. But, I mean, if you just need a couple cards and they're worth like 30 cents or 50 cents, I'm not going to make you transfer me a dollar. Emotion Phenom.
Those Sydney Crosby perfects, uh, perspectives, I wonder if they're rare or not, because I got two of them. Rose and Hot Shots, Alex the Brincat. Uh, I'm just hoping to get that card. Philip Forsberg, Pure Gold. Mark Andre Fleury, I, True North. I already got that one. You remember? Okay, I'm already starting to get doubles. Frozen Hot Shots, Bo Horvat. Never heard of him. Oh, another above the ice. Carter something. I can't even pronounce this guy's last name. I really like that hologram, like I said. That is really cool looking. Nice and shiny. Another froze notch it. Jack Hughes. I already got that one too, I believe. Hey. True North, Nathan McKinnon. I'm about halfway done through the box so far. Not halfway, but pretty close. Probably open 30 packs at least by now. So I'm running low. Mark Stone, True North. I already got one of those too. That's another double. So these two north ones are definitely low end bonus. Uh, come on, trio. Pure gold. Jack Gundel. The gold ones are probably low end too. Uh, excuse me. Oh, I got a franchise trio! Woohoo! Montreal, though. I'm happy, but I wanted Toronto. I am a Toronto fan, <laughs> so getting a Montreal one is... But this card's worth $150, according to Beckett. So that is awesome. These are 1 in 200 to get. I already looked it up. Cole Caulfield, Nick Suzuki, Juraj Slavoski. So that is awesome. That is, I was looking for one of those franchise trios. That pretty much pays for the box right there. I could sell that on eBay. Uh, like I said, Beckett, it comes up 150 for on Beckett for that card. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Odds of me getting another one of those? I highly doubt it. But like I said, it's 1 in 200, so... Connor McDavid, Frozen Hot Shots. That's a good one. I don't have that one yet. I am actually going to put a, uh, put that trio card in my binder right now. The last thing I want is that getting damaged. 
Oh, awesome. Connor McDavid above the ice. One of those hologram ones. That's probably... I don't know how much those ones are worth, but the McDavid ones usually top three in value. Crosby, like I said, he's always the most expensive for some reason. See, I'm doing pretty good. I got a franchise trio. I got two of those Sidney Crosby perspectives. I don't know how good those are. Clayton Keller. Gold. So, like I said, I have pretty good luck. I got a Jersey Redemption card. That's probably worth a couple hundred bucks at least. And then that franchise trio is listed at 150 So, I mean, those two cards right there, that's over the price of the box easily. Always have good luck with these. Always. And I don't usually have good luck. Frozen Hot Shots, Jack Eichel. Another one for grade six. That's the third one. So, anyone needs a Jack Eichel, one of those, I got plenty. Frozen Hot Shots, David Pasternak. Also, let me know in the comments if you think this year is the nicest card. Oh, and I got... Uh, I got number... Oh, Jesus! Fuck. Oh, fuck's sakes. I got the number one card, which is Tim Horton. He always seems difficult to get in these sets. I always never get him and have to order it. Oh, so what I was saying is, let me know what year you think is the nicest card. I think this year is pretty nice looking. Logan Thompson, True North Future. Oh, also, that Montreal Canadiens franchise trio. If anyone's a Canadiens fan and is interested, I would trade you for, the, for a Maple Leafs one if you got one. They're pretty much the same value. They're not much different. So, if anyone's interested in that. In motion phenoms, Connor Bedard. Uh, I got two piles going here now. John Tavares, above the ice, another one of those hologram cards. I gotta empty my packages again here. Be right back. Oh, my legs. Oh, this kills me. I'm too old for this. Oh, man. Oh, God. I'm going to go ahead oh, and put that franchise trio in my binder so it's protected. Like I said, I'll put it at the back. I do not want that car getting damaged. Oh, now i got to look through this shit. There's always a risk of bending, screwing the corners up when you're looking through them. I should have took it out. Where is it? Oh, 
Where the hell is it? Now I can't find it. There it is. No. What the hell? Where the hell did it go? Okay, this is driving me nuts. I can't find it now. Okay, there it is. So, again, anyone's interested in trading for the Toronto one, I'm an honest guy. You mail me the Toronto one, and when I get it, I will mail you the this card with tracking. I just don't want to get ripped off. But I'm an honest guy, so you don't have to worry about me. But again, if you do get the Toronto one and you're a Canadian fan, let me know and we can trade. This is the last team I actually would want to get. I to be careful with this. It's a little bit holographic, too. Not much. It's not really that even nice of a card. I should have made it more holographic. But it's in the binder here at the back. Keep it protected for now. I'm going to put any ones that are worth value in here tonight. I have to put them in the box and be very careful and gentle. It doesn't squish around. Frozen Hot Shots, Miko Rantanen. So yeah, I'm definitely hit the halfway point by now. Okay, I got the Crosby card. I was looking for that one for the main set. I know I didn't get that one yet. McDavid's usually hard to get, too. I don't know if I got him yet. But that Tim Horton, he's the harder one. Pure gold, Seth Jones. And those cards are flying out of my hands. Pure gold, those are another really crappy low end bonus set. I still collect the whole set though, just because. Frozen Hot Shots, another Connor Bedard. That's like the third one of that I got too. Hey. I got another Sidney Crosby. Uh, one of those. That's the third one I got. So maybe they aren't really valuable. They're like 15 or 20 bucks or something maybe. I don't know. Because I doubt getting three of them. That's probably like one in 20 packs. So unless I got really lucky. But yeah, it's got like this weird feeling to it, like a certain, I don't know, if you got one, you'll know what I mean. John Tavares, True North, I also got that one already. I'm really interested when I'm done here looking up the price of some of these bonus cards. Frozen Hot Shots, Sidney Crosby, that's a good one. That's definitely the best one for that set.
Braden Point above the ice. Another one of those hologram cards. I'm definitely going to collect the whole set of the hologram cards. I've already got quite a few. As long as they're not crazy expensive. Because it's a really nice. I think that's the nicest card out of the set. Pure gold. Kopitar. Nick Suzuki to North. In motion, Phenom, Jake Sanderson. I think the in motion Phenoms, I got one, I know I looked it up, it was worth like five bucks. To, uh, they're like between five and ten, probably. Crosby's probably fifteen. Alex Ovechkin frozen hot shots. Cool call field frozen hot shots. So I got a franchise trio and the redemption card. I forgot to take the redemption card out too. Damn it. Connor McDavid, True North. Probably pretty close to the whole set of these True North. Getting a lot of those. Leon Dreisaitl, Frozen Hot Shots. I'm pretty sure I got that one already, too. <laughs> Pierre-Luc Dubois above the ice. They're holographic. I hope I keep getting these holographic ones because I'm going to definitely get that set, like I said. And the more I get, the less I have to buy off the guy online. Pure gold. Travis something. Oh, we're getting close here. Connor, oh my god, another Connor Bedard to North. That's like, what, the fifth one? Anyone needs that one, it's yours. Jesus. Frozen hot shot, Kucherov. Getting a lot of the frozen hot shots, the true north. Frozen hot shots, Jason Robertson. In motion phenoms, Tim Stuzzle. Mm. 
commits murder to the North. Frozen Hot Shots, Kyle Connor. Oh, another hologram card, Alexander Barkov. <sighs> and it gets boring after a while opening all this. Jordan Cairo, True North. Because I already got the franchise and the redemption cards, so you know I'm not going to be getting any other really good cards. I don't think there'd be two in a pat in a box. Pure gold, Brady Kachuk. David Pasternak, Frozen Hot Shots. I think I got that one already, too. Another Sidney Crosby, Perspective. That's the fourth one. True North, Mitch Marner. We got the 15 or 20 left, I'd say. We're getting there. In motion, Phenom, Rattinson. You wouldn't want that name in prison. Austin Matthews hologram. Like I said, I'm really hoping I get a few more of those holograms. I got about six or seven. Pure gold, Johnny Goudreau. My nose is running. Brat Burns, True North. I gotta blow my nose, guys. Ugh, all my pills just got knocked over. That's great. Just tidied up. I recently got out of the hospital, so I'm still tidying up in here. Ugh. probably see this thing on me here. It's called a pick line. It's for getting blood transfusions and them taking blood. I have to go weekly. It's not fun. Connor Bedard. Another Connor Bedard frozen hot shots. Oh my god. That's like six or seven of those damn things. Jesus. Let me know in the comments if you got a crap load of those too. Frozen Hot Shots, Jason Robertson. I already had that one too. That's another thing when you get down to the last few packs. 
getting a lot of doubles, triples, whatever, quadruples. Cool. Uh, Nazem Kadri, another hologram. Definitely, like I said, I'm going to buy the extra cards I need of the hologram if they're not too expensive. Because I got, what do I got about, I don't know, I've been keeping count, but I think about eight. Probably 15 or 20 in the set. In Motion Phenoms, Cole Covered. Yeah. Hey! Nathan McKinnon, True North, again. It would be real cool if we got another franchise trio. But I was lucky to get one. Joseph, Joseph Wall, Pure Gold. Wall for the Leafs. I think he's a pretty good goalie. Better than that other guy they had, Samsonov or whatever his name was. I can't remember, or Anderson, I can't even remember anymore. They keep going through so many goalies. Leon Dreisaitl, Frozen Hot Shots. Have that one also. Okay, we're down to a few packs. Almost done. Frozen Hot Shots, Cole Caulfield. Got that one also. Every one I've been opening lately, I already have it. I'd like to get at least a couple more of those hologram ones. Or at least one more. True North, Mark Andre Fleury. Got that one. Hey, 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 hey. And I'm going to have to go online and redeem that uh, redemption card for the Jersey Relics card. Frozen Hot Shots, Ovechkin. I don't know if I got that one. I think I did. Oh, another hologram. That's your Denko. I think I already got that one, though. So that's one. If I already got that one, I think I do. That's one I can trade with someone if they need it for one that I need. So if you do need that card, keep that in mind because I do have doubles of that. I'm pretty sure I got that one. Pure Gold, Thomas Hurdle. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're down to three packs. Thing is, with opening packs of cards, it's like almost like playing in like lottery, like a scratch ticket or something, because you never know if you're gonna get like a good winner in it, you know? Expensive card. Mark Stone, True North, I got it. I got a ton of these True North cards also, if you need those. Tons, I got like quadruples of most of them. Frozen Hot Shots, Sidney Crosby. I, I think I had that one already too. Okay, that's my last pack. In Motion Phenoms, Pavel Mintinulov. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to throw these packs out and I'll show you something I want to show you. Oh, I'm going to have to change my garbage full of these. Oh my god, this is literally impossible to get up. Oh my god. 
feel like an 80 year old man. Jesus. Oh. Yeah, that garbage is packed to the brim. So I was just going to show you this. This is from last year. See the Joss Morrissey Timbits autographed redemption. It's kind of blurry. My phone has a 64 MP 4K camera and it's blurry. Hold on a second, fellas. So anyways, that's the redemption that I got last year. So if anybody needs that candy, fuzzy peach, it's so good. Anyways, I got a bunch of cards here, lots of extras. So if there's any cards you need, just leave something in the comments. And if it's a few cards, I can give you my email or Facebook. And we can trade. And if it's just a card or two that's worth 50 cents, I'll just send it to you. I don't care. Just the price of a stamp and a couple cards. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching, and I'm going to go redeem that card now, and check the prices. I'm interested in the hologram card, I'm gonna see if I can find out how much that Jersey Relics card's gonna be worth. Um, those Sidney Crosby ones. And I already know the franchise trio of Montreal Canadiens is 150. Again, if anyone has the Toronto one, I will trade you the Canadians for the Toronto. <laughs> Mail it to me. And as soon as I get it, I promise you I will mail you this one in the mail with tracking. Which cost me like 10 or 15 bucks because of the tracking. Because uh, I wouldn't want it to get lost. So if anyone out there does get the Toronto, I'm on to do that. Or the Edmonton. I'll do the Edmonton too. But I would rather do the Toronto one. <clears throat> of all the teams, Montreal is probably the last one I would want. Because obviously Toronto fans don't like Canadians. Get out of here, you stupid cat. Oh my God. Go. Jesus, trying to walk on my cards. Cat is so stupid. Oh, anyway, sorry about that. He literally was trying to go up to my cards and bat them. So, anyways, I'm going to put these cards in the box and um, sort them tomorrow. I got my binder here. All I do is I buy a binder from Dollarama. I've used my label maker, put a label on it, and then I buy the card inserts. I have last year's set as well. Like I said, I buy a set every year. I There's been a few years I haven't, but I'm going to do it every year now. I did it last year. I did it the first year they came out. I did it another year. And then last year, and then this year. So four years I've did it. And the first year, I actually have two sets. So anyways, thanks for watching. Have a good one.